Right, so let's let's look at the answer or the solution for this challenge. So this is the challenge. We must create uh, an application that looks like this. This is your recycler view with your card view inside of the recycler view there. And you can see that we need a make, the model, the owner's name, as well as the owner's telephone number. So before we start anything else, we're just going to see if we can create all of these fragments and place them in the correct positions. So you'll see that we've got one fragment here for the recycler view. We've got another fragment for our buttons, and we've got a, it looks only like a, a third fragment here, but we are actually hiding and showing. So we're having, we're, we're having one, two, and then a third fragment also here. One, two, three, and then this one, the fourth fragment. So let's see how we can do these fragments quickly. So we'll need a, a list fragment. We'll he need a button fragment that shows all the buttons. And we'll need a, a car info fragment and an owner info fragment. So we'll have four fragments. So let's quickly create those fragments. So I'm going to go into my Java folder, into my package, and I'm going to create a new fragment, blank fragment. The first one I'm going to call a list frag and make sure those are not ticked. And we're going to say finish. Right then, we're going to create another fragment again. So I'm going to go to new fragment, blank fragment. And this one we're going to call the button fragment. So let's just call it button frag. And then say finish. Right then, we need two more fragments. So one will be, let's go to fragment again. Go to blank fragment. And we want to have a fragment for the car info frag. That will show us the car info. Make sure those are not ticked and say finish. Right, and then we'll have the last fragment there. So we're going to go to new, fragment, blank fragment, and let's call this one the owner frag or owner info frag. Right, and select those or do not select them. Right, so now we need some colors. So if we go to your colors XML, let me just go to values and colors. Uh, you'll see that I've already set up my colors there, so just get get yourself four different colors there. I think we've got actually one, two, three. Yeah, we've got four fragments there, so four colors would, uh, should be fine. Okay, just to to lay out all of our fragments, I'm just going to quickly close all of the Java files here, and uh, we can see. Okay, let's start with the fragment list. So for the list there, I'm going to use a, a linear layout that is vertical and I'm going to remove this part and let's set the background color there as let's say the primary accent there accent color right so it will look like this uh, if there's problems we can just force force the refresh uh, or force to refresh the layout if you have problems there okay so now we'll see this one looks like the accent color let's go to the fragment button and for fragment button I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to have it as a linear layout where the orientation will be vertical. Uh, remove the text view and we'll set the background color. Let's start with the light color there. Right, then let's go to the car info. Again, let's make this a linear layout where the orientation is vertical. Remove the text view there and let's set the orient. Uh, we already set the orientation. Let's set the background color there. Uh, let's make it the primary color. And then for this one, we'll make it the primary dark. So let's make it a linear layout also, where the orientation is vertical. And we set the background color to dark color. Right, and then we remove that text view again. So there we've got the different fragments and the different colors for the fragments so that we can just see the difference on the layout. Right, so let's open up. Let's go to our main activity now. In the main activity, I'm going to leave it as a constraint layout and then we'll go to the design part. Right, so now what we want to do is uh, I'm just going to leave this in the layout or for the landscape basically the layout for the landscape. I'm not going to do orientation changes. You can go back and see the video where we did the orientation changes. Right, so what we want now is to get to this app. So we'll have one fragment there on the on the left-hand side, then one at the top and another two there. 
So what I want to do is to first have one fragment there that will be the list fragment. So just drag it to the screen or drag it to your constraint layout. I'm going to choose list frag there. So there's the fragment. Uh, for this fragment, let's call this one list frag. Now let's go into that error there and it says unknown fragment. So let's just use the layout there that it's got for us. Now for that fragment, I'm going to set the width to 200 and the height to 200 as well so that we can just see the fragment on the screen. And now you can see we can move it around. So what I want this fragment to, to be able to do is must, it must stick to the left hand side. It must also stick to the top and to the bottom. So you can see these little handles there that you can just drag. So now if I go to view fewer attributes, I'm going to set that to zero. I'm going to set that one to zero and that one to zero. So there's no spaces in between. So you can see I've got constraints at the top on the left hand side and at the bottom. And now if I set my width to zero and I set my height zero dp and my height also to zero dp. Uh, let's just go to it's easier to set it here. So let's go to zero dp there and zero dp there for the width and the height. Let's just click on it again. So now for the width, let's make it, I think let's try 200 dp again, like we did in a previous example. Okay, so because there's no, no constraint on the width on the right hand side, it will disappear if you set it to zero. But for the height, there's constraints for the height to be stick to the top and the bottom. So that would be fine. Okay, so this is now, this will become our list or our recycler view. So we'll do that now. Okay, so this looks fine. Now let's go and create. So what we want to design now is to have a linear layout that's vertical that will show this fragment, the second fragment, and the third fragment. Okay, so I'll start with layouts there, and let's have a vertical linear layout somewhere on the screen. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to set the width 200 and the height 200 as well, just for us to get that linear layout. So there we have the linear layout. Just move it again. Let's just move it there. Now for this linear layout, we want to have it stick to this one's side, also to the top, also to the bottom, and then also to the right hand side of the screen. Right, now we can go into fewer attributes. We make sure that it's zero, 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 and zero. And then if we go back to view all attributes, what I want to do is to set the height and the width to zero dp, which means it will just span according to its constraints. Right, so now it fills up the whole rest of the section there. And in this vertical linear layout, we can now add the other fragments. So I'm going to add a fragment inside of the linear layout. And that fragment will be the button frag, the one that's going to be at the top there. So now if you go to your unknown fragments, we're going to say that one should be fragment button. Right, don't worry about the layout right now. Let's just do all three fragments first. So the next fragment after that will then be the car info frag. That one. And then drag in another one. And that will be the owner info frag. Right, so we have all three of them there. So for the first fragment, well, let's just go to the error there to set all those fragments layout files. So for car info frag, yes, it should be car info. And then go down, it should, for the owner info frag, it should be owner info. Okay, so we don't see any information there. So let's go to the linear layout now that is vertical. And you'll see for this linear layout that is vertical, we need to now use the weight property. So I'm going to use a weight property of one for the button. For this one, we're going to use the weight property of a three. And for this one, I'm going to make the weight property also a three. Now, when you use the weight property, you should either set the width or the height to zero. So because we're working vertically, you can see it already appears nicely there. So if we're working vertically, it means that we want to set the height to zero. So let's go and all of these, we're going to set the height to zero dp. For this one's height also, set it to zero dp. And for this one's height, 
also a 0 dp. And then the weight comes into play. So there's basically three, six, seven parts on the screen. This one takes up one of the seven, this one three of seven, that one three of seven. So ultimately what we're going to do is we're going to hide one of these two. And then when we hide one of these two, it actually becomes only four spaces on the screen with this one taking up one and one of the two taking up the other three. Right, so now I think our layout is fine. If you look at this one, it basically looks the same thing, although we don't have anything on it. But we'll have a recycler view on this part. We'll have the button on that part. And then we will show and hide these two in order to show the detail or or the detail for the, the car, or the detail for the owner. Right, so let's go and design these layouts quickly. So let's try and get the recycler view on this one. So that will be on fragment list. And there you can see fragment list. We can just zoom in a bit. And what I want to do now is to get rid of this color. So I'm going to get rid of the color XML there. And now I want the recycler view. So remember to import this recycler view. You need to go and go into your Gradle scripts and your build.gradle and you need to add the recycler view here. But now an easier way to add it is to just go and click on that download button there next to recycler view and say OK. You will then see that going into your gradle or build.gradle file, you'll see the implementation automatically added for you. Right now let's go back to the fragment list so now we can use the recycler view. I'm going to drag in the recycler view on the screen. And I've seen on the Windows machines that this actually just shows a gray block here, which is also fine. It, it doesn't really matter. We're also not going to see these items if you run it now. We will only see uh, or see these items displayed when we start using the adapter. So don't worry too much if this just appears as a gray block there for the recycler view. Okay, so for the recycler view, I'm going to give it an ID of list. And then if we go to the main activity now again you will see that the layout changes all right so now we can see that we have the list or the recycler view there so let's go and do the two buttons there at the top so this is fragment button and i think it's easier if we also leave this one in uh, landscape mode so let's remove the color there for the background and what we'll have is two buttons next to each other so that is a linear layout that is horizontal and then in this horizontal linear layout, we'll have two buttons. So I'm going to drag in one button and another button. So there's the two buttons. This one's text should be car info. And this one's text should be owner info. Right, and now we can just move it from the side maybe a bit. So let's set the margin on the left to be 20. And then for that one, it will be the margin on the right to be 20. So it looks the same. And let's say we want to have the same space in the middle, which means that this one's right margin must be 10. And this one's left margin must be 10. And then you also have a 20 space in between. Right, so uh, for this whole horizontal linear layout, Let's just make sure that its height is wrapping the content. And then we'll move it a bit from the top. So we'll have a margin there at the top of, let's say, 15. Maybe too much, 10. Right, then for these both buttons, both of the buttons, let's go down and set the style to bold. We'll set the text color to a hash 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Fs, so it becomes white. And then we can go to the background property and set it to, let's say, color primary. Right, so there's your, I think maybe, yeah, that should be fine. Okay, so there's your two buttons then. And uh, let's go to the activity main XML. So you can see that one at the top now changes to what we see now. So let's try and do this fragment now. So this one is called what? You just see there, that one is the car info frag. All right, so let's go to the car info one. Let's make it also landscape. And I'm going to remove the background color there. Now let's just quickly look at this one again. So for the car info, it shows a picture and a text view. 
So let's just see if we can do that. So I want a picture first. So make sure that you have your pictures now in your drawable folder. I've got nothing there. So remember in the previous video, I've shown you how to or where to go and download those pictures. So quickly get the pictures, copy the pictures and paste them into your drawable folder. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to say paste those pictures. And you're going to say OK and OK again. Right. So I've got Mercedes, Nissan and Volkswagen, Volkswagen there. OK, so we want to drag in now the picture. So we're going to go to common and you're going to go to image view and drag in that image view. Go to project and drag in one of those pictures. They're the same size. OK, so there's the picture. So let's make this one a bit smaller. Let's make it 120 by 120. That looks fine. And let's get it in the middle of the screen. So I'm going to use the layout gravity center horizontal. And now it's in the middle of the screen. So maybe let's just move it a bit from the top. So I'm going to have a top margin of 10 there. And then we're going to have a text view underneath it. So on that text view, also, you can see it spans the whole screen. You can, you can wrap its content on the width and then also move it with the linear or the layout gravity. Otherwise, just use the normal gravity and set it to center horizontal. So now it's in the middle of the screen. Let's maybe move it a bit from the top. So let's give it 10 margin there. We're going to make it bold. And let's make the text size an 18 there. Right, so because we want to change the pictures on, or change the picture here, as well as change the text there, we need to give them ID. So let's give this one an IV, IV make. And for the text view, it will be TV model. So we'll show the make there and the model there. Right. So let's go to main activity XML. This one now looks like this. Don't worry too much about cutting off. We'll see when we run it and we show in height, then it should be fine. Okay, now let's go to, let's just quickly go back to where we did the buttons because we didn't give IDs to these buttons. So let's just give an ID of BTN car info. And for this one, BTN owner info. Right, let's go then to the owner information now. Also landscape, let's go to text and let's remove that background color there. And for the owner information, let's just look at the owner information. It's basically a text view that shows owner information and then two other text views. So it's basically three text views. So let's just drag in those three text views quickly. So go to text, text view, drag one, two, three text views. This one is quite big. So let's go to text style, bold. Let's set the size to a 24 maybe. This one, let's set the size to an 18. And then let's make that one bold also. And that one, we leave it as it is. Let's just see there. So we'll have some space in between them. Okay, so let's take this one or all three of them. And let's make the gravity center horizontal. Then for this one, let's just have a margin at the top of 10. For this one, also a margin of 10. And then I think that's fine. So this one, we can have the text as what we have here, which will just say owner information. So for this one, owner information but we're going to set the text on these two. So this one will show basically the owner's name. So let's say TV name. And this one will show the telephone number. So TV tell. Right, let's look at activity main now. So you can see owner information and there's the picture. So remember that we're going to hide one of these two and show the other one. So don't worry too much now. So I think we've got our layout out sorted out. So we've got the owner information there. This text view is TV name and TV tell. We've got an image view for the model and a text view for the make. And then we've got those two pictures or those two buttons at the top. Right, so let's go to the main activity now. And then in the main activity, we're going to set up all of these components now. Uh, so in the main activity, let's look at the first one there. The list we're going to set up later. So let's start with the buttons there. So we call these two buttons BTN Car Info and BTN Owner Info. 
So button. Alt enter for the import there. It's not imported. So for the first one, for the buttons, it's btn owner or car info and btn owner info. Car info and btn owner info. Right, so that's uh, basically it for the button. I'm going to close that one. Let's go to car info. So we'll have there an IV make and a TV model. So it's IV make and we have a text view there, TV model. Right, so that's basically then for the car info. So I'm going to close that one. And then for owner info, we've got TV name and TV tell. Right, so I think now we've got all of those components declared. I'm going to close that one also. So in the main activity, let's set them up quickly. So I'm going to go to btn car info equals find the view by its id r.id.btn car info. Then also btn owner info equals find view by id r.id.btn owner info. Then for iv make, which is the image view there, let's just say find the view by its id r.id.iv make. And then we can have all of those text views quickly. So it's TV model, find the view by its ID, r.id.tv model. And then we'll have TV name equals find the view by its ID, r.id.tv name. Then the last one, TV tell equals find the view by its ID, r.id.tv tell. Right, and then we're going to have these uh, buttons as on click listeners. So I'm going to say btn owner info dot set on click listener new on click listener. And then for the other button, btn car info, we also set the on click listener. Right, and then I think for now we are sorted. So this is all the layout files then and all the components connected. So remember, for, for your recycler view, we handle that inside of our list frag. So we'll get to that. So I'm going to stop this video now, and this is just creating all the layout parts, and then also those that we will link up to in your main activity. So the next video, we will create data for our recycler view.